Are you ready? That's our question for the week here on Tack Room Devotional. I'm Keith Brown, and you might say, well, am I ready for what? Well, are you ready for the day of the Lord or the return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Uh, our teaching comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1 through 11. We'll read that and break it down here in a minute. But yesterday, we talked about the fact, or we paralleled the old game of tag with the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Remember, tag was that game where someone covered their eyes, counted to 10, said, or counted to 100, and then said, ready or not, here I come. Now, there were certain things, uh, or there were things in that game that were absolutely certain. We talked about it yesterday. First of all, it's certain that he was surely coming. Number two, it's certain that he was coming when he got ready. Number three, it was certain that he was coming whether you're ready or not. And finally, it was certain that if you're not ready, you're going to suffer the consequences. So let's break this down. Let's take a look at this today, right now. So the first one is it's certain the return of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's certain that he's coming, all right? Um, chapter 5, verse 1 through 2 of First Thessalonians says, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes. Now this is one of the most repeated teachings in all of Scripture, that the fact that Jesus Christ is returning. Paul wanted his readers to know and understand that. In fact, he even says, I, I shouldn't have to tell you this again. Uh, why? Because I've already taught it. You should know this. It's a certain, it's so certain that yes, Jesus Christ is coming back. It's simple. Just put it in your head. No, get ready, get ready, get ready. Amen. It's kind of like that uh, old story about um, the guy, the tourist who's driving through West Texas, and he stopped at a gas station and observed a piece of rope dangling from a sign labeled weather forecast. He says, how can you possibly tell the weather with a piece of rope? And uh, the gas, uh, gas station attendant said, it's simple, Sonny. When the rope swings back and forth, it's windy. When it gets wet, it's raining. When it's frozen stiff, it's snowing. And when it's gone, tornado. Amen. Simple. It's, it's like cowboy no-brainer kind of thing. That's the way things work. Well, it's the same thing. Here's a simple message for you to know. Get ready. Jesus Christ, it's eminent. He is coming back. Amen. The second thing that we found out that's paralleled with this game of tag is it's uncertain the timing of his return. In other words, it's certain that he is coming, but we're not sure when, right? He'll come when he's ready. Um, the second part of chapter 5, verse 2, uh, I'm sorry, the, it's chapter 5, verse 2, the second part of the verse there in 1 Thessalonians. It says, as a thief in the night. The question is not if Jesus will return, but when will he return? Once again, it's not important to you and I. The important part to this whole message is, are you ready? Amen? Because we don't know. As a matter of fact, if you look in Matthew chapter 24, verse 35, this is in red letters. Jesus says, but of the day and the hour, no one knows. Not even the angel in, of heaven, but my Father only. So this tells us that we can't know. It's not for us to know. Then later on in Matthew chapter 24 verse 44 it says, therefore you also be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an hour when you do not expect him. Okay, we're going to pick this up again tomorrow. Remember, we're covered too. Yes, it's certain that he is coming back, but he's coming when he feels like coming. We don't know the time. We just need to be ready. Amen. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.